When we create a table with the table create statement, we always give it the primary index during that create table statement. And we've also seen that I can put a unique secondary index in there also when I create the table. But I can add a unique secondary index or a non-unique secondary index after the table's been created. In our example here, we have EMP International as our table. And in this case, I've chosen the last name to be the primary index. But now you can see how easy it is to add a unique index. So I say create unique index. I give it a name around the column EMP No on EMP International. And instantly, we've created a unique secondary index on that table. Here's the syntax to create a non-unique secondary index on a table. And I say create index, here's the index name, I don't even need that. Open paren, first name, close paren on EMP International and I've created a non-unique secondary index. Now, whether you create a unique secondary index or a non-unique secondary index, and you can have up to 32 of those on any table, it always creates a sub table. So make sure you understand that there's overhead to this and additional space when you create these. Here I'm creating a value ordered new C. I'll show you the syntax and give you an explanation of what's really going on here. As you can see here I say create index open paren depno close paren order by values on EMP International. This will also create a non-unique secondary index. It will create a subtable, but instead of ordering the subtable by what's called the row ID, it's going to order the subtable on each AMP by the value, and that's department number. And this was really Teradata's first attempt to do some sort of partitioning for range queries. So when it comes to secondary indexes, you can have up to 32 of them per table. If you had 32 of them, it would create 32 secondary index subtables, so that's not seen often. But you can have a unique secondary index, a non-unique secondary index, or a non-unique secondary index order by values, which is deemed a value ordered new C. This lesson is brought to you by Coughing Data Warehousing. The next is Query Chameleon, a query tool looking to help your data adapt to any surroundings. Hi, this is Tom Coughing. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please hit subscribe to make sure you are kept up to date on all our videos.